Two days after that mass shooting left six people dead at a Nashville school, First Lady Jill Biden among those attending a memorial service tonight after visiting the school and leaving flowers. As we learn more about the victims and those who responded, Kathy Park is in Nashville. New images from Monday's mass shooting in Nashville show young children running across a busy road, escaping gunfire from the Covenant School. I saw these kids were screaming, they were crying, and I had no idea what was even happening, but I knew that it wasn't good. Hearing the gunshots and seeing the panic in front of him, Jason Hoffman knew he had to stop driving and help them get away by stopping traffic. Is there a moment that's kind of seared in your mind forever? The teacher hugging that little girl, because all I could think about was my, my, my child in that same spot. Running towards a gunfire, Officer Michael Colazzo, a former Marine, and Rex Engelbert, a four-year veteran of the Nashville Police Department. Officer Engelbert's brother says that display of heroism is in their blood. Our ma always taught us to be brave and was very proud of to see how um, brave he was. The tragedy striking all corners of this grief-stricken community, from the pastor who knew Evelyn Dickhouse and the nine-year-old's family. She's a shining light. She is just an amazing child. To the First Lady of Tennessee, losing her friend Cindy Peak, a substitute teacher. Cindy was supposed to come over to have dinner with Maria last night. Among the other victims, Hallie Scruggs, the only daughter of the pastor at Covenant Presbyterian. Mike Hill, lovingly known as Big Mike, a father to seven and grandfather to 14. And headmaster Catherine Kuntz, who gave her life to protect the students she loved. And tonight, a growing crowd for a citywide vigil, all uniting amid heartache while honoring the heroes who helped stop the bloodshed. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.